So interesting. This setup looks familiar, right? You've seen this before. Raising Canes again. Oh my God, I love this place. Super, super, super busy. I mean, it took me 40 minutes to get this and I didn't even bother go, to go through the drive-thru. Yeah, it took me so long to get this order, but I think it's worth it. We're gonna have a chicken party. It's a freaking feast. You and I are gonna dig in. Let's do it. I'm hungry. I just wanna get to it. All right, of course we're gonna start off with the chicken, right? Raising canes, you know how that is. With the sauce. Mmm, always so good. I love their sweet tea. Oh man. Heaven. Okay, let's do this too. Tear to squeeze. I don't want to tear to squeeze. I just want to dip. I I had such a hard time with this last time. Ugh. I got the hang of it. Hmm. 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 Cheers to good food. Some of you guys know <clears throat> that I always eat after going to the gym. That's when my appetite is like the greatest. It's like super insane. I actually, it was funny because last time I didn't order a sandwich and the sandwich they have there, I mean, it looks, it's pretty basic. It just has three pieces of, you know, chicken inside this brioche bun or whatever with lettuce and probably the sauce. But I thought to myself, I was literally standing in line, I was thinking, you know, it looks so basic. Like, why can't I just kind of cheat without actually having to buy the sandwich? I mean, I'll just be missing the lettuce. So I was thinking to myself, like, how can I do that? Well, obviously, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, I could take the Texas toast and do that, right? So just spread that special sauce, cane sauce, right all over. And you're going to do that on the other side of the toast. 
I have more sauce here, if you're concerned. I'm always prepared. Right, so you have both, and you take literally a piece of chicken, which is what they've done, and you make a sandwich. See that? Your own sandwich. You don't have to buy their fancy schmancy chicken sandwich. Actually, I'm gonna cut this in half. There you go. Let's take a bite out of that. Let's see here. Mm. Ridiculous. It's not that I don't want to talk to you, it's just... It's just all too good. Get that sauce on that. Combine all those flavors.
definitely worth the 40 minutes of waiting. So good. So, so, so good. I mean, you, you have to wonder, like, KFC, all the other uh, fried chicken brands, even other fast food restaurants, they've got to figure out how how to like master a combination like this, the sauce and the chicken. Because I'm huge on chicken. What, like chicken on bone? You know, I need bones in my fried chicken. So for a fast food chain to get me so obsessed with chicken strips, something I found so boring. But if you've done something so special as to get me to enjoy this, you've done something right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get some of this real quick. Refill. I mean, if not for this, you know, I would have ordered a big giant root beer. But I had to get their sweet tea. Mm. Oh my God, I had like literally the worst day yesterday and it's not because of the day it was because I received a text from somebody regarding regarding this event that happened this last Sunday that just passed I mean I was heated up. I'll try to make this story quick, but basically I had a photo shoot this past Sunday. Like I was working with this guy, I won't name him. I'll call him <clears throat> Michael. So Michael and I, we were um, supposed to collab on a photo shoot. And we did. We both showed up on Sunday. We did our thing. Um, we planned this way in advance, you know. We both left, I guess our own vacations to be there on Sunday. So he so he came from Portland, Oregon, and I came from San Diego. So we all, we both left um, for this gig, whatever. Anyway, we planned this way in advance. We did the photo shoot. All was good, I guess. I mean, so I'm like, oh, this is so cool. You know, like I definitely want to take part in this photo shoot because, you know, this is for trade. This is cool. Like we're working for trade. Like, you know, that that's what we're doing. You take photos of me. I post the photos. I link you in 
that's cool. You get exposure on my end. Um, and then vice versa. Like I would, um, I would benefit from having actual photos to use, you know, to post on my social media, whatever. But the kicker was yesterday. He messaged me and he asked, or he said, Hey, um, we didn't get a chance to talk about compensation. Like payment. I was thinking in my head, I was like, dude, I was seriously like, I was so taken aback. Like this whole entire time, three months of kind of shitty planning with this guy. Like, you know, we really weren't even communicating honestly, but three months of this and he didn't mention one thing about compensation. I was under the impression that this was work for trade, right? He does a service for me. I do a service for him. Neither of us are super popular. I mean, we're not, we're just helping each other out. I don't really know him. He's not my friend. He's a mute. I don't know. He's a friend of a friend. Anyway, long story short, he didn't say anything about money. He did not bring it up. Done, did not mention it once. And he goes, after the photo shoot, you know, after all was done and the photos have been taken, the next day he messages me, oh, hey, sorry, my bad. I, you know, I wasn't able to, um, I'm sorry I didn't bring this up, but we have to talk about compensation. I, was, I, I literally, quite literally looked at my phone and I was so, I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. A businessman, a guy that is offering his services for other people, you know, you're not going to lay out your rates right in front of me before we take the photos. Like, am I crazy right now? Sure. I'm the one who reached out to you, but you as the business person, as the guy that's going to charge me for your services, you better lay out the rates or you better make it clear that this was work for trade. It wasn't work for trade. I mean, I, the reason why I assumed it was is because he didn't mention it at all. Like, what are you chicken shit? Like, why didn't you bring that shit up? That is your fucking job. Like, I was so fucking confused. I got over it, but now that I'm talking about it, it's kind of taking me off. And he had the audacity to tell me, oh, you know what? Like, I flew back from Portland for this gig, you know, like, blah, 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 blah. Did you forget that I had to drive back from San Diego and skip a day with my good friend so that I could be at this gig too? We both made sacrifices. And he goes on to say, well... Considering the situation, considering that I didn't bring up the, um, the rates or whatever with you, it just, he goes, um, you know, I'll discount it for you. Normally I, I go for 400 per, uh, I'm sorry, not 400, $200 per hour. 
but for you, I'll do 100 per hour. And I won't charge you for the editing, editing of the photos. Sometimes when situations are so crazy, I start to feel like I'm the crazy one. Like, am I, am I not seeing something? Like, somebody tell me, like, am I overreacting? I'm not sure what's going on. I feel so, like, dumbfounded in a way. I, just dealing with someone so, oh, impossible that it makes me feel like I'm the crazy one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever been in that situation? I felt like that. Wow. Inexperienced. What a terrible businessman. And he's probably led to believe like, or he's probably thinking like, oh, you should have asked me too. Excuse me. You're asking me to pay for your services right now. Therefore, I should not have to ask you. You should be laying that out front. We should not be taking photos at all. Because if I had known, if I had known that I was, that money was involved, trust me, this photo shoot would have either never happened, first of all, because those rates are way too high, um, and two, I would have been crazy. Like, I felt bad that he was tired. I felt bad that he came back from Portland that morning i was like taking it easy on him i was walking on eggshells i was like all right that's fine we, we can make this quick i'm sorry you know like i was just trying to be nice but if i had known that money was involved that he wanted to charge me it would have been a whole different story man we're gonna be doing five outfits we are not wasting time because i'm paying you by the hour so every minute that we're talking i'm wasting money so and we spent a lot of time talking. We spent a lot of time going, where should we go? What should we do? I'm all like, you should have figured this out. You're the business guy. Oh my God. This is good. This is what I need. I need to let it all out. I need to lock it in this video so that I can, <laughs> don't I ever have to think about it again. Sorry for that long story. I know some of you guys hate it when I talk, but I mean, seriously, what would you do? Like, And our mutual friend was saying how, oh, you know, this is really not a business for him. This is a hobby. Okay, so does Michael just charge whenever he wants, arbitrarily charge people? Like, is that just if he f shoots somebody, you know, like has a f full on photo shoot with somebody? And then, you know, two days later, if he decides he wants to charge him, he's just going to say, hey, you know, we didn't talk about compensation. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. You learn so much from uh, learning life experiences. Seriously, this is a lesson learned. What I've learned is that I need to be... very clear with people now regardless if they're officially a business or not you know even if they're f freaking like freelancing it like i need to m we need to be clear at our meetings if i were him 
and I was too chicken shit to bring up rates because I do this as a hobby, like, and I shot, you know, a set of photos with someone, I would never, never in my right mind ask for money two days later. That was my mistake. Like, I would have to take that loss. Do you understand? Like, that fool is immature and crazy. I cannot. I was the idiot, right? I would be the idiot for not laying the shit, you know, laying the details out. So I have to take that hit, right? I mean, <sighs> that is what you call shady, shady business. I don't want your photos. You can keep the goddamn photo. You could delete them. Even if you wanted to give it to me for free, I'm sorry, they're tainted. They have your name all over it. I don't want it. I don't need them. You know, I was getting a little full, or close to full earlier. I was debating between, should I eat all that chicken or should I eat all the toast? And if you know me, if you followed me on this mukbang journey, you know that I prefer meat over bread. I love Texas toast, but I'd rather make room for chicken. <clears throat> so what is your opinion? I'm pretty, hopefully, I mean, maybe I am crazy. Tell me if I'm crazy, but I just know that if I was in his situation, I wouldn't, I would not dare to ask for money because I would realize that as someone who is I mean, I'm I think I'm a realized person. I, I would hope so, right? By now, just a little bit. Um, but I mean, I experienced something we call shame. You know, I, I hope he knows what shame is because he, obviously he didn't feel that. You should be shame, ashamed of yourself. Like, why would you ask? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm beating a dead horse. I'm done. This is my catharsis. To puke and throw up all my feelings on you. All my anger. So how are you? <laughs> You didn't drink your drink. I'm almost talking to my, about myself while I'm with you. Sorry. Maybe I do have problems.
And last thing I'm going to say, last thing. When he showed up, well, actually he was there first, but when I showed up at the, the site, you know, for the photo shoot, he looked wasted, like freaking hung over from some, I don't know, coming down from some drugs or whatever it was. Like he was not 100%. He was actually like literally 50%. But the reason why I didn't give him shit about it was because I thought this was a fair trade. Like, I, w I was actually being very nice and saying, listen, like, we can reschedule. It's not a big deal. Like, I know that we both left, you know, our events to be here. But, like, I'm cool with it. It's not a big deal. If I had agreed, if he gave me those rates and I had said, let's do this photo shoot. And I was going to pay $200 per hour for that. And if he showed up like that, no, I would have been like, I'm never working with you again. So he was unprofessional. I don't think he understood what being professional was. Oh God, just. Jesus bless me because I'm about to hurt somebody. <sighs> I'm done, baby. That was good. I'll sh I shall be okay. I'll give it... I'll give myself, I guess, another day to cry about it. But other than that, I should get over it, right? I should be done with it. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. This is Raising Kings Part 2. I hope you liked it. The food was as delicious as I remembered. And uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for being my therapist today. Love you. Bye.